Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh dear. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? No, oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Thank you, madam. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Kent. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage 
to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam.